Introducing the VisaTurn Loda 2024.1 edition. Whether you're a pattern maker, technical designer, or a fashion designer, these updates will make creating garments more efficient. In the first part of this video, we'll show you how to create well-balanced garments using the Enhanced 2D Measure tool. This tool reduces a need to import and export DXF files for each garment. Moving on to the second part, we'll explore how you can accelerate the digital garment creation process with the upgraded outfit feature. Let's get started. In this workflow, we'll use a new 2D measure tool to check the balance of the pants. This tool offers flexibility, allowing you to test pattern pieces using both points and edges. Let's begin by adding a guideline to establish the center line of the leg. Start by placing the line from the crotch and dragging it to the hip. In the context menu, we can see that the measurement of this piece is 31.46 centimeters. Divide this measurement in two to position the guideline exactly at the center. Trace a line as an internal line, and then remove the guideline. Use the pen tool to create a new knee line. Insert two new points, the first at the intersection of the new lines, and the second at the hem. Now, open the new 2D measure tool to assess the balance of the pants. Begin with the front knee. Select the outer point and the setup point holding shift, Add the straight measure, then subtract the outer part. You'll notice a distance of negative 4.91 centimeters. The 2D measure tool functions similarly to the measurement tools in various 2D CAD software. The key distinction lies in vStitcher, where the formula data is automatically updated after each pattern or grading adjustment. Let's generate another formula for the hem. Follow the same steps. Select the outer point and the center point. Add the straight measure to the formula, then subtract the outer part of the hem. You'll notice a slight difference in the hem as well. To ensure the pants are balanced, we'll aim for the internal line to be perfectly centered. To achieve this, we'll divide the difference amount by 2. For the hem, this will be negative 0.8. Adjust each side accordingly using the transformation values found in the context menu. Once adjusted, you'll notice in the 2D measurement window that the formula result changes to 0 indicating that this section of the pattern is now balanced. We'll repeat the process for the knee by moving the points by half the distance of the amount, negative 2.45 centimeters. We can see that the formula is updated and balanced. Now, let's confirm that the back is centered. Find the center point of the back piece, aligning it with the same point of the front piece. Select the hem's corner point on both the front and back pieces. In the 2D measurement tool, observe the difference, which is one centimeter. Next, choose the other corner points on both pieces, and you'll see that the distance is the same, indicating that the hem is correctly balanced. Now, let's examine the knee. Select the front and back corner points, followed by the opposite points. Confirm there is no difference. Another notable advantage of the new 2D measure tool is its seamless integration with the sizing and grading tool you have the flexibility to effortlessly switch between the selection tool and the sizes and grading tool. Let's open the grading window to ensure that the adjustments we made to the patterns have been correctly applied to the other sizes. In the 2D measure tool, switch to the formula and sizes tab. You'll notice that the distance amount is zero, indicating that the grading is balanced. Thanks to the enhanced 2D measure tool, you can create new formulas while grading. For example, Let's verify that all the side parts of the front align with the back side. Return to the Formulas tab and add a new formula. Choose all the edges on the front side, totaling to 96.91 centimeters. Subtract the parts that need to be sewn from the back, and you'll notice a very small difference. This slight variance is acceptable. Let's return to the Formula and Sizes tab and check other gratings. Upon inspecting the pocket grating, it's evident that not all sizes appear correct. We'll fix the grading by changing the point grading in the context menu. We can see that the formulas have been updated accordingly. With the pants now balanced, let's finish up this garment and move on to our next workflow. In this workflow, we'll explore the upgraded outfit feature in vStitcher. The outfit feature allows fashion designers and technical designers to speed up their digital garment creation process. It enables easy layering of patterns and presents designs with minimal simulation involvement. As before, use the plus and minus icons to add or remove garments. A key advantage of the upgraded tool is the option to choose from different snapshots created for each garment. 
This minimizes the need to redo the prepare simulation and reduces the necessity for restyling. Each snapshot provides details such as avatar type, avatar name, pose, and the date created. It's recommended to select snapshots with the same avatar and pose for consistency. Alternatively, you can create a new outfit using sizes. Choose none of the snapshot dropdown and then select the size. If the size has a snapshot, it will be displayed. Otherwise, you can generate a new snapshot in the original file. When creating a new outfit, be aware that since this is a first simulation for these two garments together, there might be slight collisions. Simply update the simulation to address any issues. To continue editing the outfit, go to Garment, Edit Outfit. When working with snapshots that feature a different avatar than the one in your current file, take the following steps before updating the simulation. In the 3D menu, switch the avatar to match the one used in the snapshots. Click on Dress to simulate the outfit on the new avatar. Loading avatars while the garment is dressed does not automatically initiate simulation, making the process fast and flexible. Another significant advantage of the outfit feature is its quick layering capability. The order of snapshots in the layer determines the 3D layering of garments. For instance, moving the sweater below the pants will result in it being tucked in. Update the simulation with the new layering. The outfit feature simplifies layering by eliminating the need to handle it at the pattern level. It adjusts the layering of all patterns as a group, even if one of the pants layers is set to zero. vStitcher manages the layering of each garment collectively. Let's bring the sweater back out. Notice that the simulation for these changes is much faster. vStitcher dresses the garments using the dress garment only capabilities, meaning there is no avatar simulation involved. Let's include a jacket in our outfit. Open the Edit Outfit window and click on the plus icon to add the jacket. To ensure proper simulation, place a jacket on top. Click Dress and update the simulation. This process maintains the styling applied to the original file, ensuring a cohesive and accurate outfit representation. Now that we've assembled all the garments for the outfit, we can move ahead and create some colorways. You can now clone the entire outfit in the colorways window, allowing you to create your own customized colorway. Let's enhance this colorway by adding an Oliver print. In this version, we've upgraded the Oliver print feature, introducing two new repeat options, half drop repeat, and brick repeat. This upgrade streamlines the process for fashion designers, graphic designers, and technical designers by eliminating the need to prepare content for the half drop repeat or brick repeat in advance. To replicate the colorway from the original garment file, follow these steps. Open the Edit Outfit window. Since the current garments are in use and locked, you need to switch back to the original garments. Remove the original garment from the outfit and click Update. Then, open the Edit Outfit window again and add the original garment back. Choose the new colorway from the Snapshots dropdown and click Update. That concludes our brief introduction to vStitcher 2024.1 edition. For a comprehensive understanding of all the upgrades and updates, please visit our Help Center at help.browseware.com. Thank you for exploring the latest features with us.